Well, Zoe Harkamb, uh, you are the most important advocate, at least one of them, in the Great Britain. Um, and you are working with low-carb, high-fat, giving people advice to eat less sugar and less starch. Uh, how is the message working right now? It's interesting. I'm not the only one, um, but we are nowhere near in the position that Scandinavia is. So we do have a number of people uh, supporting what I call real food. So we have some good food writers, some good chefs, some doctors trying to just get people off the processed food. But then the next step is to get people to question even what they see as good carbohydrates. Um, and of course, we know there is no such thing as a good car carbohydrate. We need to be eating fat and protein. Um, so we're taking people step by step. But the UK is nowhere near where Scandinavia is at the moment. So you got a book from us uh, from Little Moon Publishing House. We wanted to present LCHF, uh, which we have been working with um, in Sweden and Norway from 2005 and just gaining more and more and more support. Um, and you say that this author, Sophie Hexenberg, should be the Norwegian health minister. <laughs> and why is that? Because she should. I mean, the advice is just so sensible. And the UK needs this advice as badly as any other country, but we're not getting it. And how can you argue against somebody who's saying just eat natural foods, stop taking the drugs, don't have the carbohydrates, go for the fats and proteins, don't fear food, nuts and seeds are fantastic foods. You know, this is just such common sense, but common sense is not that common and it needs to be more common and more people need to know about this. So I would love it if somewhere in the public health world, somebody like Sophie became senior in public health and could actually put out the right message because at the moment across Europe, Australia, New Zealand, America, Canada, we're getting the wrong message, which is base your meals on starches. And we know that starches make you fat and starches are going to develop diabetes. So we need more of this advice. And uh, low carb, high fat is sort of um, the way we wanted to present the Scandinavian diet for the UK public and also, of course, for the international English uh, public. And there's a lot of diets with the uh, same name and a little bit of different wrapping like your diet, the Sarcom uh, diet and uh, paleo. They're all thinking about the same um, LCHF seems to be, aka the Scandinavian diet, seems to be gaining some ground. You are going to a conference in South Africa. Uh, there are good things happening as well. Swedish doctor is speaking there, Andrea Senfeld. So, so something, some good things are happening at the same time as we are struggling. I've never thought of, of it as low carb, high fat, because I describe myself first as a real food person. But I like, the more I think about low carb, high fat, the more I like the message. Because at the moment, what we've got is low fat, high carb. And I think we need to get that message out there strongly as an equal counter to this low fat, high carb. You wanna to say to people, that's the government advice. You've gotta just turn it upside down and go low carb, high fat. And also the other thing it does is it gives people the message that because protein is in everything, you've either got fat proteins or you've got carb proteins. So you are going to be eating fat or carbohydrate. That's the thing that is going to change because of the protein being in everything. So if you reject fat, you are going to eat more carbohydrate. And then if you reject carbohydrate, which is what you need to do for health, you are going to eat more fat. So by calling it low carb high fat we're talking to people to say make sure your diet is rich in fat and don't fear fat i think the most important thing we need to get over particularly in the uk because we are so far behind scandinavia is stop fearing fat fat is your friend it does not make you fat it makes you healthy and that's why uh, we in little moon publishing wanted to brand low carb high fat as a scandinavian diet because LCHF, low carb, high fat, was such a big thing here and still is. It's, it's growing day by day, but still there are, of course, resistance from conservative nutritions. Um, Scandinavian diet, LCHF, do you think we will succeed? 
Oh, I hope so. I, I like the fact that it's going to be connected with Scandinavia forever. So if this does change in our lifetime, and I have to hope that it does, otherwise so many people are going to die sooner than they need to, um, then this will be what Scandinavia has brought to the world. So America brought the low-fat, high-carb dietary advice and the obesity epidemic and the diabetes epidemic. That's what America will be known for. And wouldn't it be wonderful if Scandinavia could be known for completely reversing that and giving health back to the world in the same way that America took it away? The Harkum diet, low-carb, high-fat and the Scandinavian diet, they represent the same thing and they can work together. They, they start from the basis of having real food. So I just think if you make that first step of having real food, and then you look at where the nutrition is, and the nutrition is found in the foods rich in fat and protein. So it's found in meat and fish and eggs and dairy foods. You then just naturally make the choice to eat more animal foods and not as much plant food, plant produce. And then you end up low carb, high fat. If you eat to get the nutrients that you need to be optimally healthy, you will eat a low carb, high fat diet. It is just the outcome of choosing optimum nutrition. And uh, of course, the Scandinavian diet, LCHF, is very, very tasty. Please visit the scandinaviandiet.com uh, or littlemoonpublishing.com if you want to check out our books. Um, we have some great uh, advice on losing weight by eating proper food and uh, to live with your diabetes without medication. Um, thanks for promoting and being part of our work in Scandinavia. and taking the message to the UK. Thank you very much for inviting me to Norway. Thank you.